Hey guys, Graphic Electronics here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a cartoon text effect in Adobe Photoshop CS3. So before I show you guys how to do this, let me just clear my project that I just created. And there we go. Now first thing that you're going to want to do for doing cartoon effect text, you want to go down to your text tool right here. And then you want to click somewhere on your project and type in a word. I'll type in cartoon. And then position it where you want it to go. And then choose a font and a size. Sorry, font and size. So after you've done all that, you just want to go down here to where it says layer 1 and click somewhere there. And then you want to right click and go to blending options. You want to go down here to where it says gradient overlay. And then you'll see it goes from black to white right there. Now that's kind of an ugly gradient so to change those colors all you want to do is right here you click on gradient and then choose your first option there. Now right now it's black to blue so I'm just going to change that. Uh, I'm going to choose a kind of a not too dark of a blue but a little darker than oops go back down to blue and I'm going to choose that blue right there and then I'm going to click on this black button here and then click down there and then I'm going to choose a way lighter shade of blue probably that would be good there we go so cuz I think that the blue to a lighter blue looks the most realistic for cartoon effects but who knows you guys can experiment with it a little bit and see what looks better and just leave a comment below telling me if you found any better colors anyways so after you've done that and you're glad or happy of your progress you want to click the OK button and now you can change the direction that the gradient is going right now the gradient is going bottom to up for all the words so I'm gonna make it go from one side to the other side all you wanna do is go to your angle button here and angle it like that there we go that looks pretty nice so after you've angled your text or your gradient and you're happy with what it looks like you wanna go down here to where it says stroke once you've clicked on the stroke button there you want to change the stroke color to any color that you'd like I like black the best for cartoon effects and then you're gonna to want to make the stroke size a little bit bigger to make it si to make the size a bit bigger you just want to drag this button right there to a size until you're happy I like 24 pixels for cartoon maybe maybe I'll try 20 yeah that looks a bit better so now that we've gotten that out of the way, our stroke and our gradient overlay, you're going to make it look a little more 3D by going over to here where it says bevel and em and embose. Now, all that you want to do is just kind of make the depth quite a bit bigger. And that'll make it look more realistic and the size a bit bigger too. Not too huge. Otherwise, it'll look something like that and that's it's kind of neat for some cases, but not for this case. Let's just make the depth a little less because that'll change it and it looks a bit bigger, better in the end. There we go. And then now you can soften it up a bit. I'm going to soften it to there. And after you're proud of that, you want to click the OK button. Now, as you can see, it's already looking like a cartoon effect and we haven't even done the whole process. If you like it how it is now, that's great. But you can change it and make it look much, much better. To make it look better, you just want to select your text again right click and go to warp text and then where it says style click on the arrow and find something that you like I'm gonna choose bulge and I'm gonna make it look like it goes in instead of out to make it look like it goes in if you're choosing bulge as well you wanna go to the bend air and drag it down until you like how, it, how that looks I think that's pretty good and then I'm gonna put a little bit of a horizontal distortion on it bring that up a little bit there we go and then click OK now that's how we make our cartoon text in Adobe Photoshop CS3 so anyways you guys thanks for watching this tutorial and if you'd like more Adobe Photoshop CS3 tutorials or Sony Vegas I'm gonna start doing some Sony Vegas tutorials but if you do want more tutorials just subscribe to the YouTube channel anyways you guys thanks for watching